Hello and welcome to Horrible Science, where this week we're taking a trip into space to find out more about the planets of our solar system and to ask the burning question. Do aliens really want to eat our brains or will they be happy with the kebab? The head of the channel is watching. Unless you want to go back to selling non-stick frying pans, I just suggest you stick to the science. Uh, okay, Bob, why don't you kick things off? It would be my pleasure, Mark. Step right this way as we take a journey to the stars. Oh, you don't mean? Yes, Mark. This week, I, Bob the Robot, had made a model. As you can see, our solar system consists of eight planets orbiting the Sun. Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus and Neptune as well as an array of moons and small planets. Right. Which one's most likely to have aliens on it? No, Mark! Oh, for pity's sake. It's incredibly unlikely that life exists on any planet other than Earth. The planets further away from the sun are too cold, and the ones closest to the sun are too hot. Ah, come on! Yes! <laughs> you spotted that, I see. Yes, the temperature on Venus, for example, is 500 degrees Celsius. That's hot enough to turn a tin can into a puddle. Bob, I, I totally think you should holiday there. Venus is also covered in choking clouds of poisonous carbon dioxide gas. Ooh, ooh. And the atmosphere is heavy enough that it can crush you flat. Oh, oh, whoa, why, why? Look how flat he is, Mark. And that's not all. You see, the clouds are also full of acid rain that could dissolve what's left of you. Uh, right, I uh, think I might just stick to Tenerife. How about sticking to the script? Call the shrinking scientist, Mark. Oh, yeah, sorry. Uh, let's go over to Professor Small and a team of shrinking scientists who are currently on their way to the moon. Come in, shrinking scientists. Hello, Mark. We are on our way to the moon. Should be there shortly. Still? You've been gone for ages. You can't hurry space travel. When the unmanned Voyager 2 craft travelled from Earth to Neptune, the journey took 12 years. 12 years? We've got less than 20 minutes of the show left. Chill out, Mark. Don't worry about it. Thanks to the magic of television technology, the Nautilus should get us there much quicker than that. Can one of you go outside so we can get some shots of space? Well, we would, but we haven't bought any suits. And you wouldn't want to do a spacewalk without a suit. Why's that? Well... First, there's no oxygen up here, which humans need to breathe. Secondly, it's so cold, it would freeze your skin in a matter of seconds. And thirdly, with no air to press on your body from the outside, the air inside your body would push outwards. Basically, your lungs will fill with ice and burst, and you'll suffocate. Yeah, best give it a miss, then. Talk to you shortly. Over and out. You know what? I had no idea space was so dangerous. Oh, I wonder why that is, Mark. Which is why you would be better off staying on Earth and looking through a telescope. Prepare yourself for an insane look at what they don't tell you in the science books. From inner space to the universe, we're on a case to face the worst. It's icky and it's whiffy and it's yucky and it's squishy, but we love it.